Hey guys, this is Amjuid with another tutorial about how we can create a list in Excel and organize it and prioritize popular categories in it. Well, here I have a simple sheet with two columns, product category and customer type. Here, instead of adding the data by typing, we can create a drop-down list with the help of data validation. And here is the list of product categories that I want to create in the drop-down list. And since uh, there is nothing else to be written in this column, we can select the whole column and then go to Data tab and select Data Validation. It will open a small pop-up window and here select List in the Allow field. And then click on the Source field to select the range which is Product Category in my case. Now here you can see that a drop-down option has appeared on every cell in the column. And instead of adding the data by typing, we can just click on the drop-down option and select the one we need. Well, if we want to add a new category in the list, we sure can do that. We can add a new category by inserting a cell in the list. And here you can see that it's been shown in the drop-down list right away. I'm undoing all that by pressing Ctrl plus Z. Or write your new category at the end of the list. And since the list is not in a tabular form, it won't show in the drop-down list automatically. And what we can do is to drag and drop it in the list by pressing the shift key. And here you can see that it's been shown in the drop down list and we can select it right away. Well, the list can be quite long. And it would be time consuming to find the one we need if the list hasn't been organized. So it would be a good idea of organizing the list alphabetically. Now just select your list and sort it from A to Z. Now here you can see that the list has been sorted alphabetically and it would be much convenient to find and select the category we want. Well, if a certain category is being sold mostly, we sure can prioritize that category at the top of the list. To do that, just put some dashes in a cell and don't forget to add the space in the beginning to turn it into a text, otherwise Excel will consider it a formula. And drag and drop it in the list by pressing the shift key. Now here you can see that the cloth category looks like the top category. And let's consider that office supplies is also being sold mostly. Then just drag and drop it above the dashes cell by pressing the shift key. And here you can see that the cloth and office supplies are being shown as the top categories in the list. And we can pick them quite conveniently. Moreover, if needed, we can hide and unhide the product category list if needed. Well, it's not mandatory or important that the list we want to create will be on the same sheet. It can be on another sheet too. Let's say create a drop-down list for the customer type column. Now just select the whole column and open the data validation window and select list in the allow field. And then click on the source field and select the range of the customer type by going to the sheet where it exists. Well, if there is nothing else to be written in this column, then it's better to select the whole column. Anyhow, click on OK. Now a drop down option has appeared in every cell in the customer type column. And we can select the customer type 
by selecting from the drop down list conveniently. And since the drop down option is not necessary in the headings, we sure can clear that. Just select the headings and open data validation window. Just ignore this message as it's saying that the data validation source is coming from different places which we already know. So just click on OK after clicking on the clear all button. And here you can see that the drop down option has been removed from the headings. Anyhow, creating a drop down list helps speed up the data entry. It also helps with consistency and accuracy. And especially, no one will misspell any word at all. And I hope this will be helpful for someone out there. And thanks for watching.